Hey guys, Eitan, welcome back to our channel. So today we are making a Belgian s'mores waffle. What does that mean exactly? We are making a classic Belgian waffle, spicing up by adding on some chocolate, some toasted marshmallows, and some graham cracker. It is absolutely delicious. For this video, I'm teaming up with Chefman, and I'm using their Digital Volcano Waffle Maker. It is super cool, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use this and why it is so awesome. And before we get to that, let's start over here with making the batter. Okay, so this batter is pretty complex, but it is, pretty good once you get the hang of it. All right, so let's just start by mixing our dry ingredients. We have some all-purpose flour straight into here. And we're gonna put that into your biggest bowl out of the three. Then we're gonna add in some sugar. We're gonna add in some baking powder, a little bit of salt. And let's just give that a nice mix through thoroughly. Okay, perfect, let's just set this aside. Next up, let's add in all of our wet ingredients except our egg whites. So we're gonna add in a little bit of oil, two egg yolks, and some vanilla extract. Next up, we're gonna add in our whole milk straight into here. And using the same whisk, let's just mix that together until it is fully combined. There we go. Now, we're gonna move these both aside and the final step is to beat our egg whites until they are at stiff peaks and this is gonna make our batter super light and airy. All right, there we go, that is now done. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to just mix these all together. So we're gonna start by moving this to the side and adding our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. All right, so we're gonna mix that all together. All right, that looks perfect. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this to the side and we're gonna fold in our egg whites. So let's take this right over here and just add them in a little bit at a time. And then instead of mixing it like this, you're actually going to want to fold it like this. It's just gonna kind of gently incorporate them and overall make the batter much lighter. All right, so I've cleaned up a little bit and now it is time to make our waffle. What's awesome about the Chef and Waffle Maker is it has different crunch factors. So you can do a classic waffle, you can do a crispy waffle, you can do extra crispy, or you can do fluffy. Personally, I like to do my waffles at the crispy setting, which is about four minutes. It does it all for you. I'm gonna click start. And now, what's awesome about this is it actually tells you every single thing that you need to do. There's literally no guesswork in it. So right now it says pre, you know it's preheating. Then once it starts digging, it'll let you know that it's now time to pour it. And then it will automatically start a timer to let you know that it is done cooking when it is nice and crispy. All right, there we go. It now told me to pour as you hear. Okay, so let's take our measuring cup and the chef one actually also comes with a measuring cup that you can use. So let's take the measuring cup and we're just gonna pour it. It has a little hole to pour it into right over here. Now what's awesome about this waffle maker is you know with traditional waffle makers, you like pour it in your batter, you close the top, and then like it just spills everywhere. So this is actually closed as you can see when you put your batter in and it just seeps through this hole in the top. And what that does is it makes that there's absolutely no spillage at all. Uh, anything that's over here, this plate over here actually heats up. So it'll actually cook that also while it's cooking the waffle and you can just snack on that or throw it out. So it's a really great way to make waffles without having that hard mess. All right, so while we've been doing that, the timer actually already started. It now says we have about two minutes and 50 seconds left. We're gonna let this cook, and as you see, there's already smoke coming out, uh, or probably steam, not smoke. Uh, we have some steam coming out, and it smells incredible. We didn't make a mess. You're gonna see how easy it is to clean it and eat it and just get it in your mouth as quick and easily as possible. All right, I'll see you when this is done cooking. All right, so it is now done, so let's just twist this off and set it aside. And now let's open it up. Look at that. Isn't that design on the inside so cool? So let's just use a fork to lift it up, place it right onto 
our baking sheet and let's keep that closed. And as you see, there's no mess over here. It is nice and clean, which is awesome. Now to this, we're going to top it with some chocolate chips because we're making it a s'more. So it's kind of like the graham cracker base of our s'more. If you're making a traditional type of s'more. There we go. And now on top of that, what I like to just do is take some large marshmallows, rip them in half with your hands and place them all over the top of our waffle until you can basically not see any more of the waffle. You want that much marshmallows because I mean, who doesn't like marshmallows? They're delicious. All right, now that it's been fully coated in marshmallows, I'm going to now put this into my oven that is on the broiler setting. I'm gonna broil it for about 20, maybe 30 seconds until it is nice and golden brown on top. And then we're gonna eat it and yeah, I'm ready to eat. All right, so our waffle came out of the oven and I just topped it with some crumbled up graham crackers and it is now time to eat. So I feel like you can cut this, but I think I'm just gonna go a little crazy and eat it like this because that just seems fun. All right, let's go. Mmm. Delicious. Really delicious, really fun new way to serve a waffle. As you see on the bottom there, we have that classic waffle thing. So even though the chef in Volcano waffle maker is a little bit different than you're used to seeing. Makes a normal waffle. That is absolutely delicious. It's nice and crunchy on the inside as I chose on the crunch factor. And nice and soft and fluffy on the inside. If you guys wanna make this recipe at home, as always, I will link the full recipe in the description box below. And if you wanna get your hands on one of these Chefman Volcano Waffle Makers, I will link that down below along with the link for the hand mixer. And yeah, this was super delicious. If you like waffles, click that like button down below and comment what is your favorite type of waffle topping. I wanna to hear from you. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that big red subscribe button to be the first to know when I post new videos. Okay, I'm gonna go devour this whole waffle if you need me.